This is another in the series of first reads where I read a poem by a poet. I don't know or know very little about just for the first read for the sheer joy of it, not to uh, explain it, teach it, or anything else. And I might change my mind later on. The Other Bunny is where this is coming from, which is a, is a weblog, um, a running e-zine as it is, based on the hyphen. The hyphen, of course, is a fairly traditional form. It combines like a pro section and a haiku as it is, or some version of it, maybe an assembly or something. So this one I'm assuming is going to be American hyphen which I will leave alone for that. So I don't have to focus too much on the form in general, like figuring it out, because I know it's going to be some kind of hyphen, which I kind of like of this. So I'm going to look at this one by Bob Lucky. I don't know Bob Lucky at all. This is a very short poem. I kind of usually think of when I think of hyphens as the prose poem being a little bit longer, the prose part of it being a little bit longer, um, and then the haiku being very, sh you know, like just regular haiku at the end. The haiku looks about, you know, right? It's three lines. It's got three elements, as I like to think of it. And then the poem. So, hyphen. It's a hyphen. It's playing around with the form just a little bit, but not a whole lot. It looks like what a hyphen looks like uh, for an American hyphen. So, suspense is a way of life. So, suspense is a pretty straightforward title. Um, suspense is a way of life. But I'm, I'm going to assume... It's a fairly narrative, straightforward point, and we'll just go and kind of see from there. The moment I slipped out of the womb, I was slapped around until I cried. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> happens to all of us when you come out. They give you a good pat on the back. Let's see that you uh, make sure you're breathing. They cry and they get your breath going. If I hadn't cried, I would have been slapped around some more, which is true. If you don't start breathing right off the bat, they're going to you know, get you to breathe. This kind of sense of you're going to get slapped either way right when you come out of the womb. Um, not that a baby has that much suspense around it, but there's kind of suspense in the moment in the womb um, when this is happening, when, when a child is born to make sure everything is okay. Because, you know, like there's that sense of what you don't know until the last second that things are okay. So there's like suspense in the room. Um, maybe the baby has suspense. We don't know about cognition there, but we'll go over there. That's the first part. And then we have... The second part, quiet night, the creek on the stairs. This is a completely this is a completely different thing, which is you know very common for what happens with, with these. I mean, in you know in a haiku format, if you look at somebody like Basha, there's often the first two lines, and then there's something going on differently in the third lines, and there can be a variety of things going on differently in the third line, um, from contrast to kind of narrowing the image to to. Um, completely different image. There's not even a term out, term for that one. This one, Quiet Night on the, the Creek on the Stairs, it, it's a very similar sense of suspense. There's suspense here, but it's a different kind of suspense in the first part. We're getting kind of two views of suspense that people deal with that are very, kind of very personal um, sense of, of suspense when you hear that uh, creek on the stairs. It's very suspenseful if you're like in bed, right? Just like the Suspense in the room in the beginning. And it brings us back to that first, you know, the title, Suspense is a Way of Life. It's like, this is, you know, oh, life over and over has these moments of suspense. And I don't know that I would go so far as to call it a way of life for most of us, but maybe it is for some people, I suppose. But that's connected to, you know, a very human emotion, a very common thing that we deal with all the time is a sense of suspense. So, Fairly straightforward narrative poem. There's nothing jumping out as you know fancy about the language, which I'm, I'm not saying that as a critique or anything. It's just straightforward. Uh, makes it easy to read and, and I think enjoyable to read. Uh, I, so I think you know what's the kind of thing I'm like. I'm cu curious to see if if all of Bob Lucky's poems are that same kind of just straightforward, clear sense of of narrative. So, enjoyable little piece. This is, once again, The Other Bunny. It's a journal devoted to the hyphen.